Hey y'all, it's Luca Red Tarot. Thank you for clicking on. I appreciate you. Okay, um, I don't know who this reading is gonna be for yet. Give me just a second. Uh, the song playing right now is Jazzy Bell by Outkast. That might that might mean something to you. It might mean something to the reading. I can't play it too loud or I'll get copyright flagged. Okay. So, first I'm going to see who this is going to be for. I'm going to see something. I'm going to get my little paper out of my bag. Uh, Pisces. I just did Pisces. I ain't gonna... Okay. Aries. Okay. I just had Emperor come up. And the reason I just picked up off the table. So, it could have something to do with a, a Emperor divine counterpart okay i got some letters too so could have something to do with somebody with the letters n y x m v l w f N and G. Okay. Like I said, Aries. Okay. I hope y'all are doing good today. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Luca Red. Luca Red Tarot. If you haven't um checked out my TikTok, it's the same name, but you gotta be careful because I there's a bunch of um like little scam fake pages or whatever that's copying me so my i've got one page on tiktok that's my regular page and i've got one backup the regular page where i post all my content is luca uh what's that thing called the under slash underscore sign okay i think it's underscore <laughs> and then red underscore and then tarot that's it. The other one is my name is Luca44. That's my backup page. But any pages I have, they're not going to be private, okay? So if anybody sends you a message saying you've got some kind of free reading, I don't really know what they're doing. But I got a feeling that because I've had that done to me before, well, the first card out is the Four Swords. I've had that done to me before where uh, someone sends you a a message and it says you got a free reading but all they they're not going to give you a reading they're just going to steal your information so please don't fall for that from anybody saying they're me or anybody else the tarot readers are not really going to be doing that they're not going to be sending you messages saying you want a free reading or something they can tell you in other ways but uh, my pages won't be private so if you get a message from some private page it's not me okay so let's see what we got here I'm trying to pop out, so. Alright. I'm going to do one more shuffle. we got the moon and the ace of pentacles on the split. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestral Spirit, guys. Please give me a message for the Aries Collective. Please give me a message for the Aries Collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Six of Wands. Page of Wands, High Priestess, Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, okay, that's Hail Mary, Tupac playing in the background now, okay, The Magician, King of Cups, The Star, Okay, Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So, one second. Okay, so the Six of Wands, something was going good. Something was going good with somebody. It looks like between 
two people. Okay. The the present situation. Okay. Um in the past, in the in the like kind of recent past, but not just happened, um, things were going good. There was like a a new spark going. Um, somebody's intuition was on point with this uh high priestess, or this could represent like a um Cancer or Pisces. Now, in something that just happened, you got the Five of Wands. Okay, so there was competition. Um, some kind of competition going on. We'll look deeper into it. Um, what's crowning the reading is the Queen of Cups. So, that's another water sign. That's The water sign's been coming through strong. Okay, but since this is an Aries reading, we're just going to take that as somebody who's... Um, well, you could be a water sign, but somebody who's um, really loving, open-hearted, like that. Okay, so what's about to happen is the Nine of Pentacles. That represents, like, somebody being on their own. Um, but their, their money's going to be good, but it looks like maybe they were going in a different direction. They didn't think they were going to be alone, maybe. Okay, so what, what whoever this reading is for, either you or the cross watcher, what, what's in their fears is the Ace of Pentacles. So you or the person that you're reading for is afraid of a new beginning, which I guess that could be, okay, if somebody, okay, so we got a Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Somebody doesn't want to let go of somebody. And they're afraid they're going to have to let go of somebody. The Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles, for me, um, sometimes it represents, it can represent like a um, pregnancy. It don't have to, but it can. Okay. So, um, in the environmental factors, how others see you, uh, you're coming up or your counterpart is coming up as the magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody has just been uh, manifesting something or someone, okay? And what you really want, whoever this reading is for, is either you want this King of Cups who's um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this is what they want. What's coming up for the possible outcome is the star which could represent Aquarius um, and also could represent um, somebody that you just see as a star it can represent a child also okay so um, something something changed the situation that was going on because in the readers T section I got the two of Pentacles the eight of wands the seven of swords and the nine of swords so it seemed like some kind of messages came in to somebody about something they didn't know about and it changed the situation. Wherever things were going, they've just changed. Okay, so I'm gonna clarify these because I don't really understand what's going on so far. Okay, so I'm gonna use another deck to clarify and the emperor was on the bottom of the deck. So, the six of swords the emperor is moving towards something so we'll see what that is i'm not sure who the emperor is but this is an aries reading okay i just saw the five of wands again so there's competition holy spirit holy angels who is this competition what's going on here can you please make it clear what's going on here for these aries collective thank you thank you thank you Okay, I saw eight of cups at the bottom of the day. One more shuffle, and then I'm going to clarify everything. Okay, so on my full readings, what I would do is I clarify the reading with three different decks. So I'm going to do, ooh, okay, the devil's coming out um, to clarify the six of wands. So, and then, hmm. Bone Thugs and Harmony, Meet You at the Crossroads is playing now. Okay, um, the Ten of Swords is coming out for to clarify the Page of Wands. So whatever good thing that was going on, it seems to have been put to like a grinding halt. 
Um, there could be a Capricorn involved, or this could be this could have something to do with uh, addictions, codependent relationships, um, stuff like that. All right, now the High Priestess. And the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant is clarifying the High Priestess. So, somebody could have been planning on getting married. Or, the High Priestess could be a Taurus. Okay, so we got the Hierophant representing the High Priestess. Or clarifying the High Priestess. Okay. So, okay. Now, things are starting to get a little clear. Um, the competition, um, what just happened, somebody found out that there was competition that I guess they didn't know about. With the Two of Pentacles, somebody was juggling the Five of Wands competition. Okay. So next, uh, clarifying the Queen of Cups, we got the Eight of Wands. So the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the Eight of Wands is clarifying the Queen of Cups. So messages messages something about messages what messages okay six of cups uh six of cups is clarifying the nine of pentacles so what's about to happen is something about the past is coming back up okay um the hermit is clarifying the ace of pentacles representing virgo the nine of cups is clarifying the magician Okay, in the position of how others see you. So, others see you as manifesting your own happiness now. So, whatever happened... Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, the King of Cups is being clarified by the Ace of Wands. This is what someone really wants. The King of Cups, the Ace of Wands... So, somebody wants a new beginning with the King of Cups or the King of Cups wants a new beginning. So, we we had a, um, a pair here with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So, I don't know what happened, but it looks like... Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> somebody was juggling, okay? That's what happened. I'm not sure who, but if you're watching this reading, then you probably already know who. Okay, because, yeah, you already know. Oh, okay. Damn. Somebody definitely found out about somebody being pregnant, I believe, is what's going on here. With the Empress and the Star, um, yeah. Somebody found out about somebody being pregnant. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these other cards in the Reader's Tea section. Okay, so clarifying the... Knight of Swords is the Ace of Swords. Somebody found out the truth about the situation. Uh, the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. That's um, You got some angel numbers there. Seven, seven. Clarifying the Eight of Wands is the Two of Cups. And clarifying the Two of Pentacles is the Star. Okay. Bottom of this deck is the Page of Wands. I mean, Page of Swords. I'm sorry. Okay. So... There is some signs that maybe a Gemini is in the situation, but um, basically somebody was, somebody might have found out some information by somebody's phone or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, somebody found out the truth about the situation somehow. They got some messages that basically put a stop to the situation that was going on because things were going good in the past, but the thing is, with this devil card, um, somebody could have been dealing with a, a karmic situation anyway. So sometimes the universe works in mysterious ways. That's all I can say about that. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Two of Cups. So someone found out about a choice that somebody made. I feel like somebody, somebody sent somebody a message and told them something, okay? And what they told him probably was, your man and me was messing around and I'm pregnant. So, okay. All right, Aries. Um. Okay, ready or not, here I come. The Fugees. Hmm. So, ready or not, this baby is coming, it looks like. Um. 
So this is an Aries reading, but from what I'm seeing, it could be about a it could be about a divine masculine, also, um, because the Aries and the Emperor come up, and the Empress is coming up also. So, if you need more clarification on this situation, you can you can book a um, full reading with me. Just email me at lucared44 at icloud.com or if not you can just keep checking out my general messages um these messages are general they're for entertainment um you really need to get a personal reading to know what's going on in your personal situation okay thank you